first fish of the day on Clinger Lake. Ain't a crankbait. Now, right, boy, we've got some adverse weather going on here. Hunter Fish Bass Circus one on one. We've got 23 teams against, I would say, many of the area's best. That's not going to keep, but that is a good sign. So I can third cast that crankbait. Midsummer clear water bass fishing. There are a whole bunch of different baits that can catch bass. I can tell you, today's tournament ended up okay for me. Ended up in second place on Klinger Lake in southern Michigan. Uh, known for a ton of small fish. And what made the difference for me to finish second place was one big fish, smallmouth bass, 3.54 pounds. My total weight was something like 9.37. That link to the tournament will be below for all the details. You know, it was terribly rainy this morning and tons of lightning. It was probably not the smartest thing to be on the water, if I'm being truthful about it. However, the bite was pretty darn good. And when I was here just two days ago, I caught several fish. In fact, I probably had better weight in four hours of fishing with my two boys than I did today. But they ate this 44 Magnum uh, by Sea Flash Crankbait Bluegill Color Scheme. And... Uh, you know, the fish were definitely eating crawdads. I saw plenty of evidence of that. They were pooping out crawdad pieces. They even caught a rock bass with a big pincher sticking out of its neck. But I couldn't get much of a deal going uh, with crawdad imitating baits, but they ate this real good on Thursday. So I tied on, same company, same bait, just a smaller model. So I've got to look this up, look down below in the description to find out what exactly the model this is. I think it's a 22. But this did all, almost all my damage today, including the big fish as well. That's what I'm waiting on. Ah, I'm waiting, hoping. Yeah, I had a two days ago practice. Better than average size fish out here that night. Yeah, I think that's keeping up too. And they're eating, when they eat it, they eat it good. It's just, I got two different types of uh, crankbaits going on here, both bass sea flash. Everything I'm using is listed down below in the description. I think that's keeping up too. Definitely the wrong size to win a tournament, but proving you catch some fish out here in Klinger Lake. Well, it was a fantastic morning bite with that crankbait. It rained and blew like crazy, and I was having to use the batteries on this camera, so you missed out on the best part. You did. I was like, screw the camera for a little while, because it was so nasty. Let me show you. Let me show you what I pulled out. Ooh, yeah. Having a blast with small mouth bass. That's a very good sign. Wrong size, but a very good sign. I'm up here in about five foot of water. Casting a little bit out, mostly parallel, so I'm probably casting in seven, eight foot of water. This bait's diving, I'm going to say about four foot deep. I almost had a boo-boo there. Look at me. Pooping out crawdad pieces. I don't know. Maybe I should be throwing a jig. I got a couple keepers. They're small keepers. I got some short on this crankbait. I haven't got the big ones yet. Like I said, I got big ones. M much better fish two days ago. What do you do? Do you switch up and go with a different bait? Try to get bigger or do you just kind of stick it out? 
What do you think? Put your comments below. I think I'm going to stick with it for the time being. Just because I'm trying to get bit. Look at that, more poop coming out. Oh, it's crawdad because how red it is. What kind of disgusting fisherman? I, you know, studying fish, fish poop. Hey, you gotta get any clue any way you can get it, right? better one so boy they're eating this crank good <laughs> the lightning will go with it I'm using medium heavy action rods I was using 12 pound fluorocarbon and to tell you the truth I probably should have used could have used 10 gotten away with it might have might have got me a little more casting length and a little more depth on it, but I, I, I couldn't keep track. I couldn't tell you how many fish I caught on this bait this morning. It was incredible the way they were eating it. catch several fish. I did catch several fish on a drop shot today as well. I think that's keep one. Actually saw that fish on a live scope. Being quiet because we got the boats around. Put a Berkeley Max Scent flatworm on there, a quarter ounce, about 10 foot of water. Threw that out there and he came right to native. I was using a Berkeley Max Scent flatworm. Use a mosquito, excuse me, an octopus. Well, what are they? My owner, mosquito octopus. It's, it's down below in the description. But I used a seven foot medium action rod. Everything, like I said, is down below and uh, eight pound leader with 10 pound braid. Now I'm just video game fishing there with the drop, with the live scope, drop shot. Out of those fish I caught while well, seeing them on live scope. One good fish came, one of my better fish came off of a, what I believe was a brush pile, 20 foot of water. And I, I, it was, I call it, I'm sure the kids can call it video gaming. See your fish, throw your bait at it, see your bait with the fish, antagonize them until they bite. My leader is about the yay long. Because of the wind out there, I threw a 3 8 ounce uh, tungsten weight by Motley Fishing. Now, I, Motley Fishing and I have no relationship besides the fact I buy their stuff. You will not find cheaper tungsten weights than you will find from Motley Fishing up in Minnesota. I skipped plenty of docks when the sun came out thinking that's maybe how I'd get my big bass, a bigger bass, an upgrade. Uh, it didn't happen, but I threw a combination of a stick worm by Butcher's Baits. I tried green pumpkin and black. They both worked. And I caught several with my 9K Elite Lures flipping jig underneath the docks as well. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, we'll see you on the water.